by the GG33 members when they try to build a foul wing they always at people not necessarily me my students god knows there's a lot of them and what they do is they're looking for engagement to build their following those are normal tactics and i would just advise my gg33 members to try to recognize people who are just trying to build their accounts now we're all guilty of doing that including me but there are certain rules to the game i want them people to understand what the rules are number one if someone has zero followers 10 followers 15 followers and you look in their account and all they do is talk shit don't give this person the time of day okay uh that person is most likely extremely miserable and he t and he basically talks shit because that's the best thing he has going in his life now a lot of people will be like yo gary you talk a lot of shit too you're right the difference is i get paid for it uh, you guys see me talking shit about Tate. Guess what? I get paid for that. I've converted at least 300 to 400 of his, uh, what was it? Real world or hustlers university people into GG33 Academy. So you see talking shit did that. That's not chasing clout. That's actually running a business. Do you guys understand what the difference is? <laughs> I, I don't think a lot of you do. I really don't think a lot of you understand how this game actually works. It is not enough to be the best of the best at what you do. I'm the Michael Jordan of numerology. I'm the Tom Brady of numerology. I, I, I'm, the, I'm the guy. I'm that guy. But I got suspended 18 freaking times on a lot of different platforms. I'm only growing right now. So this is my first 50K account. God knows I had a whole bunch of 30K accounts, 20K accounts. They all get suspended. I'd be well over 200, 300, maybe even a million followers by now if people didn't fuck with my accounts. So because I was put in that situation when I was unfairly targeted, and again, I'm not crying about it. It is what it is. I adapted. Anyone else in my position would have been done. Anyone else in my position would have been done. Not me. I found a way around it. God, I hate these damn motorcycles down here in Florida. Yo, DeSantos, if you listen to me, man, ban those fuckers. I like sleeping with my balcony open and those fuckers come through at four o'clock in the morning sometimes and wake me the hell up. I'm ready to go locked and loaded. I swear, you know, everywhere you live, there's always some kind of fucking problems in Ohio. I lived in a really, really nice neighborhood. Um, and I swear to fucking God, some days I'd rather live in the fucking ghetto because that's where I lived when I was a kid. And the reason I say that is because, you know, you hear gunshots go off once in a while in the ghetto, but these fucking lawnmowers, every fucking two to ten minutes, a new lawnmower is going off. I literally wanted to go postal on these people. But, you know, again, here you got the motorcycles making a whole bunch of noise in Ohio, the damn lawnmowers. It's always something you adapt or die. Which brings us back to the whole point of the, what we're talking about today. Chasing clout to getting revenge. If you guys think I'm going after Andrew Tate to chase clout, you would be right to a point. If you think I'm doing it just to chase clout, you're out of your fucking mind. This man went after me. This man called me a fraud. This man tried to destroy me in 219. I will do everything in my power to bring this motherfucker down. And yes, do I gain clout off it? 100%. Do I make money off it? 100%. But it's straight revenge. Straight revenge. Joe Rogan. You guys think I'm petty? With what I did to Tate? Wait till you see what I do to Rogan. And Rogan is guilty of the same crime that Andrew Tate is. Both calling me a fraud and both saying numerology and astrology is garbage. You have to understand, if you do that, 
Well, I'm going to have to come for you. I'm not talking about coming for you in a physical or a violent matter. I'm going to come with you to after you on social media. That's exactly what I'm going to do to you because I'm not going to allow anyone to go after my life's work. It's just not going to happen, guys. I will not allow it. So obviously there's thousands of trolls who talk shit every day, but they're not influencers. They have no clout. Influencers influence people to go against numerology and astrology. Therefore, you are committing a moral reprehensible crime and I'm going after you. I don't care who you are. Ben Shapiro, you're probably next. Or maybe I'll just, you know, go after the light work takes boys here in uh, Miami. I'll decide, but let this be abundantly clear. People who are mutual friends of Joe Rogan's and mine ask me, yo, Gary, don't do this. You're going to you're going to be a star either way. Don't do this. If you do this, you'll never go on Joe Rogan. If you do this, it'll, all these doors will close. <laughs> Tell someone who gives a f <laughs> Tell someone who gives a fuck. I do not care. I carried in 2018, 2019. After those suspensions, I stopped giving a f it was me against the world at that point. I don't care. And um, for people who said my little video of Joe Rogan's dad with a flop, uh, try six and a half million views in less than a week at a whole bunch of different media platforms from Twitter to TikTok. It's out there. It is out there. And let that be an example. You talk shit about numerology. I will find what your weak point is and I will go after it. And by the way, Joe Rogan's dad is a solid guy. So is his sister. Solid people. They didn't do this for money. They did not do this for money. I can assure everyone of that. I can understand why people would think that, but they did not do this for money. What I did this for is very, very evident to get even with people from 2019. Remember, Tate was one of them and Joe Rogan was another. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go to YouTube, put in Gary the Numbers Guy, Joe Rogan. You'll see the comedy show that I basically took over and he was talking shit about numerology and astrology. I told him that day on stage, I'm coming for you, bro. I told him on stage, I'm coming for you. And that's exactly what I'm doing. It, you know, in the coming weeks and months, you're going to be seeing me do a lot of stuff like this. And again, I understand it's I, I am never going on Joe Rogan. I understand that. By the way, what you people don't understand is Andrew Tate's war room asked Joe Rogan, asked a whole bunch of other people, make sure I never go on their podcast. And they agreed. So guess what? It's payback time. <laughs> you know, when you take a beach ball and you put it underwater and you just hold it down, as soon as you let go, it fucking pops right up. And that's what happened. I was suppressed. I was suppressed. And now with some of the suppression over, you're seeing what happens. GG33 is being searched on Google at record places. Record paces. A couple of days ago, I finalized the location for my new podcast. It's actually going to be on one of the top floors of a Trump Tower in South Beach. The view is absolutely amazing. Almost as good as my Vegas view. Absolutely amazing. I already have guests lined up. And we're going to be very, very different from everyone else. One day I might talk about politics. One day I might have 40 broads in there. Oh, not 40, but we'll have about 15 broads in there. And we're going to start talking about the difference between a lady and a hoe. We're going to do a lot of different things with this podcast. But I promise you, this, rest assured, 
we're going straight to the top. Straight to the top. I'm, I'm, I'm cutting deals left and right with real influencers, and I haven't even pushed the buttons yet. Wait till this Joe Rogan full podcast. Wait till that thing comes out. Wait till that thing gets about 20 to 30 million views. And Joe Rogan is forced to respond. <laughs> yeah. For months, I was sending messages. I'm coming for you, Joe. I'm coming for you, Joe. And you guys thought I was all full of shit. And I told you, yo, I got something going with Rogan's dad. You guys thought I was full of shit. And then all of a sudden you saw the clips. And now six to seven million people saw the clips. And it's going to be a lot more before this is all over. And I'm going to be clear. If you think numerology and astrology is bullshit and you're open to debate, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's the thing. I'm open to debate. I'm open to it. I don't care. I am open. But if you talk shit and then do what Rogan did, say, fuck, I'm not having any numerologists and astrologers on. Well, then there's a problem. Or even worse, you do what Tate did, saying numerology and astrology is bullshit and secretly start using it while calling others frauds. <laughs> Brother, I'm going to be at your neck for the rest of your life. And those are just the straight facts. You know, as vengeful as people think I am, I really let a lot of shit go. I really do. I mean, when I was 20, I let nothing go. I let a lot of shit go now. I only go after people if they intended. Intent. That's the big word for me. If you hurt me and you did it by accident, okay, shit happens. Accidents happen. I feel you, dude. No hard feelings. If you actually go after me with intent, well, then you got an enemy for life. And that's how all of you guys should feel. Accidents happen in the world. What, are you going to fucking bust someone's balls because they commit an accident? Sometimes really unfortunate accidents happen. But even in the legal system, which is corrupt as hell, even in the legal system, they understand there's a difference between murder and manslaughter. And that's called intent, which leads us to the vacuum. You know... I don't feel the same I'm going to get you attitude from you guys at Twitter anymore. It seems like you guys forgot that they locked you down, no matter what government, no matter what country you lived in, they locked you down. They took away your rights. And if you did anything about it, they put you in jail. And then they try to encourage you and force you to take a vaccine that we all know now kills people. And for all the people out there who always talk about, well, you know what? I'm a good person. I get good karma. No, 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 you don't. A bad person gets bad karma because he does negative actions. A good person has no karma. And a lot of you guys would be like, yo, what about Yang Yang? You always say balance in the force. What about Yang Yang? If bad karma gives you bad things, good karma should give you good. Wrong. Bad karma, bad things give you bad karma. Good things give you nothing because karma is not here to help us. Karma is a just system because, yes, what goes around comes around. Yet it does not reward. It only hurts. That's a fact. That is a 100% fact. You could do good things. You won't get hit by negative karma. There's your yin yang. There's your yin yang. You want another, another yin yang? Well, um, you guys ever hear of a book or read a book called The Secret? Tells you about manifestation. You ever wonder why the elite would actually release a book like that? 
why would the elite put some real information about manifestation out there? Why would they do that? Obviously, it's helping some people, but why would they help anyone? Well, if you understand how the elite think, then you understand how the game works. You know, I always tell people, saints create sinners. And what I mean by that is this. If you manifest a good thought for yourself, balance will be brought to the force. Balance will be brought to the matrix. And the negative thing will happen to someone else in this world. That's exactly why the elite told you about the secret. Because all you people manifesting good thoughts, uh, <laughs> you got to pay the piper somewhere. And it's going to happen with some people who are going to get hit. I know you're thinking, wow, this world isn't fair. You're thinking, what the fuck? But you know, you know what the good thing is? Humans are designed to overcome. That's what humans are designed for. We are designed to overcome things from back in the days when we were going to caves building fucking fire with wood to right now where we're fucking killing each other with tanks in Ukraine. Humans are designed to overcome, but not all of us. Not all of us. A select percentage. Like, for instance, I'm assuming most people who are listening to me here are not that. I'm assuming that because a lot of you are GG33 members and you guys don't damn well. I've been telling you about the value for three years, over three years. You passed the test. Everyone who did not take the value, you passed the fucking test. Because all those people who took it, especially the ones who took the boosters, maybe some of you uh, who took the uh, got a good batch and you won't be fucking put in the ground that quickly um, but if you went over and over and got boosted over and over yeah I, I, I'd really really get a will I'd re I mean you're already fucked up by taking, taking a you want to fuck up twice by dropping dead and not having a will for your relatives is that what you want I mean I, you know what I should even say this but let me tell you what I expect to happen when Donald Trump. And again, I don't expect this to happen anytime soon. But when Donald Trump actually. Dies, I am looking for his kids to start splitting up his estate. You're going to see legal battles between the kids. Because. Ivanka, uh, who was Donald's favorite. Well, uh, he found out the golden rule when it comes to daughters. Uh, daughter might be loyal to you until someone else is fucking her. And then when some other man is uh, piping down your daughter, uh, guess what? That loyalty factor ain't there as much as it used to be or at all. I mean, to a point, it should be kind of expected. Daddy protects a little girl and the husband protects a woman. So to a point, it should be expected. But uh, Donald Trump find out the hard way. He always thought Ivanka was his favorite. She's never going to betray me. All of a sudden, Kushner started pumping her down. And guess who she's loyal to now? And her daddy. It's Kushner. That's, that's something a lot of you guys out there who are going to have daughters, who have daughters, are going to deal with. You're going to find out. And I'm not talking to all of you. I'm sure there's 5% of you who will stay loyal to daddy. May I bend that number all the way to 10%? But, I mean, as soon as some, some dude starts piping her down, she ain't going to be as loyal. That's the thing. That's why I'm so happy I had boys. I had two boys. I made sure I had boys, too. Uh, if you're in GG33, gold especially, you know how I pulled that off. And if you don't, you can just ask me in the flock form. I'll tell you. Um, sons are typically more loyal to their fathers than daughters. 
Typically, I'm not saying that's 100% the case, but typically. And what, what you have to understand is there's only so much you can do. One of the things you can do is set a good example. One of the things you can do as a father is treat your wife correctly in front of the kids because if you beat your wife and your kids see it what kind of example are you setting for your kids they're gonna see that shit they're gonna do it you have to show your wife proper you know i tell my sons this all the time you you know they sometimes the big kid comes home bitching about the teachers you know yada 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 and I told my son this, and I'm gonna. And I think all of you guys should tell this to your sons as well. I told my son he has to listen to two women in his life: his mother and his wife. And again, there comes with limits even with those two. But if you're a man, those are the only two women you have to listen to in your life. And what I mean by listen to is. If they have to say, you know, listen to what, not saying take their advice. I'm saying hear them out and respect their opinion. Especially if you have kids, your kids see stuff like that. Respect has to be taught. And women should be respected unless they give you a reason not to. For instance, if a woman is sleeping with every guy in the block, if she has fucking five kids by four different guys, um, that's not re very respectable. Different circumstances happen in, other pe in different people's lives, which might justify some circumstances of things happening. But in most cases, it is what it is. That's one of my favorite sayings. It is what it is because it's one of the most real sayings out there. It is what it fucking is. When you hear pauses, that's just me hitting my blunt. Moving on. 2023 is about 30% complete. The year of the cat, because the month moves ahead, is about 22% complete. And some of the things I've noticed. I moved to Florida. I live in sunny Isles now. I'm not giving you my address, but Sunny House is a really nice place. In front of my house that looks very similar to all the other houses around here, I have a group of five, six cats that just assemble in front of my house. Now, there's nothing different about my house than others. There's no pond there. There's nothing different, but they're in front of my house all the time. Energy matters. Energy always matters. I would make a point of saying, yo, I live at this address, but I don't really want to give my address out. You know, there's some fucking sick people out there. <laughs> I'm just going to say it again. Energy matters. It is what it is. Anyways, we got close to... 300 people in here um i always appreciate the fact that i can pull a lot of people in the spaces it is much appreciated i hope that um everyone who comes in here gets entertained learns something and you know whatever else goes with it but at the end of the day understand that when i do spaces it's basically to get a message across most of these people in this world are fucking NPCs.
And what I mean by NPCs, at least my example of NPC, is pretty much people who are soulless. And you're going to see soulless people do a few things. Number one, soulless people... I mean, listen, I'm not talking about someone who's a Kansas City Chiefs fan and he wears reds for that reason. But if someone is, say, in Los Angeles and the Lakers are purple and, you know, Dodgers are blue and this guy is not a blood or crip, but he's just straight flexing on red all day, hey, the motherfucker's suspect. If the motherfucker has a lisp in his voice, talking like, yeah, 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 yeah suspect you know eyes are not the only thing there are windows to the soul the voice is too as a matter of fact in some cases i can tell a lot more by a person's voice than i can even do by looking at them even by looking at them why do alphas have such deep voices why do betas have such high-pitched voices why is that i think it's just a coincidence everyone's favorite word who's a gg33 hater it's a coincidence 9 11 happened on the 11th it's a coincidence the first flight to hit the world trade center coincidence that's an 11 oh the you know before there was AT&T, there was a company called Ameritech. Ameritech came from the Bell families. There, you know, Ohio Bell, uh, California Bell, uh, Florida Bell. Those, those are the companies in the 80s. They, they handled all the phones. And the most interesting thing is in 19, I believe it was... Let me make sure I got the math right. Huh. Yes, I believe it was 1968. The Bell Company made the police code for emergency 911. 1968, they did that. The Bell Company decided that 911 would be how you call the police on every single phone. 33 years later, 911 happens. Here's what I think. Everyone always says, how where are all the good people at? How come no one warned us? Well, they did. You just weren't paying attention. See, the Bell Companies were broken up, I believe it was in 1984, by the government. And I believe it was broken up because of that. Someone went through a lot of trouble to make sure the police code was 9-11. They did it 33 years before the event. And that company that did it was broken up into little fucking pieces. It was one of the largest antitrust suits by the government in its existence. They could use those same charges against many companies today, but they don't. But they did against the Bell companies because they actually told you 9-11 was, was coming. There is another show. Um, it was called the Lone Rangers. I think it was March of 2001. And in that show, it said that planes would be used by remote control to hit the World Trade Center. This is all relatively available. You can go look it on YouTube. It's all there. That's the beauty of the information age that's the absolute beauty of it you can find things out within seconds seconds we live in a fucking time where there's more evolved people than at any time in human history 
And if you're listening to this, you're, you you got a lot of hope. I'm sorry to tell you, but I got to dim it now. Because at the same time, we live in a universe, in a world, where there's more NPCs than any time in world history. You have all these women out here with beautiful curves and bodies. And motherfuckers out here want to suck do you understand the type of brainwashing that had to go through a society to accept that? Do you know the type of brainwashing that has to go through a society for them to accept homosexuality? I don't care what any of these doctors tell you. I don't care what any of these culture or woke professors tell you. I, none of this stuff. It's all garbage. Here's the facts. Is it possible that two gay men can have a consenting relationship without hurting other people? Yes, it's possible. It's also possible for me and you to knock out John Jones. If we get the guy in the right angle and we just catch the guy slipping and we hit him in the temple, then we could knock him out. Is it realistic in everyday life? No. The fact of the matter is most people who turn out to be at least it was in the past now there's so many who knows but in the past when this when it was still people in the closet and they did this from behind closed doors the most common way for someone to turn into a home was to be molested at a young age you see these people can't procreate but they have to reproduce somehow. And that's how they do it. See, if you move a kid, 99% they turn out to be bi or homosexual. And the reason that happens is because you fuck up the person's chakras. You fuck up the person's chakras. And let me tell you what happens. When a uh, gay he's more likely to steal he's more likely to lie he's more susceptible to blackmail and he's definitely more susceptible to it's the way the chakras are wired so yes you might say i know a gay guy and he's perfectly legit and he you know he has a happy relationship cool it's still haram ass behavior but cool uh, he's in the minority. He's in the extreme minority. And if I'm hurting your feelings, go tell someone who gives up. I don't care. I really don't care what anyone thinks. If this costs me followers, because I know when it's time to be judged and all of us are going to be judged by our karmic actions. I know I'm doing well because I know when 99% of you, the public was scared to say something about the vaccine, Gary was talking. When you guys were scared to get fired from your jobs or get your account suspended, Gary was talking and he was telling you not to get the vaccine. And I know I saved thousands of people's lives. So, yes, if I hurt some people's feelings or if I say the wrong thing at the wrong time, maybe, oh, I, I, I don't know, I get punished. Oh, that's what you guys hope. That's not going to happen. I have taught people the keys to the matrix, numerology and astrology. I have helped develop some of the greatest minds in world history right now. I repeat, the people in GG33, they're gonna, some of those people are gonna do great fucking things. You know, it's uh, like King Arthur, Arthur's court. When the king was dead, the people at the court still did great things. So this group, GG33, you will have movies about it. You will have 
a lot of things in the future that are going to try to dissect who I was and what I did, what I did, and all this other shit. At the end of the day, I'm a 33 who is flexing his influence on the world in a positive way. Not, not just getting influence and influencing, but actually doing it in a positive way. You know how easy it would have been for me to be one of those guys who was telling me, yo, fuck these man get yourself a side piece in the 315 and the 216 and the 330 make sure you're going on trips and make sure you get all these hoes in check have them all i don't give a fuck about that i don't teach that that's garbage i teach people to get married find a wife based off numerology and astrology and have kids on the right day that's what the fuck i teach Happy 11-11, everybody, depending on what time zone you're in. Ugh. I think I put in a long enough monologue today. I don't do these too often. But um, as I do the podcast, that's going to replace these spaces. Um... Let's see, I got the Rolo uh, podcast on the 26th. That's going to be live from Vegas. Uh, I got uh, Tinfoil Hat May 3rd. My own podcast will be up around the, the same time. And again, expect this thing to grow. Once that podcast is up and going, I cut so many deals. You're going to be shocked at how fast that thing grows. And to Joe Rogan, to the Tates, to all these people who colluded against me, I want you to understand something. I'm never going away. I'm going to be at your throats the rest of your fucking lives. Because I promised myself in 2019, I get you. I mean, hell, Joe, I told you on stage what I would do. Did I know I was going to go this route? No, but I promised I'd get you back, Joe. Told you on stage when you're all fucking drunk and coked up. Talking shit about me fucking while you were doing fucking lines of coke right before the show. Your breath smelled like reeked of fucking tequila. I mean, it, it, it just complete fucking haram behavior. And it's going to be a cold day in hell before I let some drunk asshole talk down to me. Only thing you got more than me, Joe, is money. And that will be shortly corrected within this decade. That I can promise you. So let, let it be clear to everyone. We're about to start making our move. Joe Rogan's Dad podcast drops on the 18th. My own podcast will be open relatively soon. The location is be secured in Trump Tower. And enjoy the ride, guys. Fucking enjoy this ride, man. Because people always say, is life predetermined? Is that what numerology and astrology shows us? And that's not the case. What it shows us is there's two things in life. There's destiny and there's free will. And they both exist at the same exact time. Destiny is when you're going to die. The place you're going to die, the day you're going to die, what the fuck you're wearing when you die. That's all predetermined. The journey to get to the de destination, that's the free will. Point A to point B, that's all, that's all predetermined. How you get the point B. That's the, that's the journey. That's life. That's where you get all the experiences. That's what it's all about. And then. When you pass. You either get reincarnated to a different level. Because you pass those missions. Or you fail. And you try again. 
And that is how it works. Don't be naive thinking that auras don't exist. Don't be naive thinking that chakras aren't real. Don't be naive. All that stuff is real. On the other end, if you're a really spiritual person, don't be naive thinking, oh, I don't need money. Don't be naive. Because not one fucking poor person changed the world while he was alive. Plenty did it when they were dead, but not one when they were alive. I know a lot of smart people who can't get shit accomplished because they don't even have money or they don't have a mouthpiece. You got to be able to articulate your thoughts to other people. You got to make it understand. And guess what? You have to bring it down to their fucking level. You know, I'm not really big on uh, pop culture. I couldn't tell you who the latest rappers or what the newest Taylor Swift song is. I, that's the one area I really don't pay attention to because I really don't give a f But whether it comes to numerology and history, numerology and politics, sports, different nations in their history, Cuba, America, Russia, China. I could give you history lessons on all those countries and many fucking more. That was the beauty of numerology and astrology in the very beginning for me. Knowing I knew all this history and then I could go back with, with Superman-like vision and see the stuff that no one else can fucking beautiful I mean that I can't tell you the ego I had in my 20s and, and by the way you think my ego has got bigger with age no it's actually diminished the ego I had in my 20s when I was the only one in the world who knew how to do this I kind of diluted it by teaching it to other people so the ego kind of got deflated just a bit not much I mean, believe me, it's still like, you know, carrying a really heavy weight. But, you know, either I got stronger, the weight got bigger, you know, it's one of those two. But when I was younger, oh, my, I was the only one who knew how to do this. I just didn't know how to talk very well. I mean, I knew how to talk, obviously. I just didn't know how to articulate my thoughts the way I do now. Now, just get really angry with people to get it. Um, but. I'll tell you one thing I have over all these red pill alpha males. They all they talk about is, yo, get money and then find the bitch. Well, got news for you guys. If you're rich and you find a woman when you're rich, you'll never be able to trust her. Never, especially if she's an American woman. These red pill motherfuckers are out there fucking minds. That's why they're fucking on average divorced two, three to two times. The whole point is to find a woman, not a hoe, a woman. When you're young, when you're relatively broke, and then you can build together and that will bond you. You want to be able to talk to your girl, yo, baby. Remember that time 15 years ago when we had no money? And then I was looking all day and I did some odd jobs just so I could get 20, 30 bucks. And then we went to got some Chinese and we, we, we got something to drink. Yeah, back in my Haram days. Uh, and we got some of the smoke. And we just tell stories about, uh, I remember uh, when I was like 20 years old. And every day I meet up with my boy. And uh, we go in his car and he'd have two dollars. I have two dollars and we pick up another dude who had two dollars and the blunt down the way would cost five and one shell about 50 cents. So every single day we right after school go right down the hood because, you know, that's where we went. I was like the only white boy in the hood, but it, it was all good because guess what? I grew up down there. I grew up down there, man. I've been called to end this and end this my whole fucking life. The only reason I won't say that publicly is because someone's going to try to use that tape against me. I don't give a fuck. I'll say anything I want.
personally, if you guys knew me, <laughs> you know what I mean. I remember those days. You want to have fucking memories like that of how you came from nothing overcame. That will put a smile on your face. And the same thing goes with a woman. Find a broad when you're broke and build together. If you already have that bag, like most of these red pill guys talk about, yo, I'm a millionaire. I got five mil. I drive a McLaren. You know, you, yeah, I saw this one, one of these uh, Tate's boys today. I forgot what his name. Old fucking man in his 50s talking about, yo, I drive a McLaren. And look, my friend has one too. What does one of those cars cost? 200K? That's what the fuck you're flexing on? Something that costs less than most people's houses in America? You dumb fuck. What do you think? I couldn't fucking afford a McLaren? I'll go get one tomorrow if I wanted one. I'm happy with my periods, bro. You know what I'll flex on instead? My fucking kids. My wife. You flex on a car that's going to lose its fucking value. I'll make sure that uh, my bloodline gets extended. <laughs> you dumb Ugh, I can definitely pull them in here, can I? Anyways, uh, that's about enough for the monologue. And when I'm done doing my monologue, one of two things happen. Either I say this has been a GG33 production, or we start talking to the people. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk to the people. And when I talk to the people, I have one co-host. Co-host, say hi to everybody. Hi. Hello. How's everyone doing? No, I'm just kidding. How you, how's everyone doing tonight? I'm happy. Wow. To be that, was a, that was a really white voice. Yeah. Trust like, me. even I don't have a voice like that. Do that again. I don't think I've ever sounded so white in my life. Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? It's a beautiful night. Everyone, I'm watching The Law of Attraction. I'm watching the movie The Secret. I feel great. Um, positive vibes for everyone. Uh, the Lord Jesus, Jesus is King. Everyone, stay safe. Wow, brother, you imitate the beta pretty well. <laughs> I, I think I'll never do that again. I think I'm done. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope everybody screen recorded that. It's never happening again. Cat <laughs> is a very, very entertaining co-host. And having said that, we're gonna open up the line. Uh, if you have something to say, feel free to join. Uh, Kat, you know how to run the show. Uh, when people actually, you know, get the balls to actually join, um, no, let them say whatever they want. Let me just say a few things. Uh, if you're in this space right now, retweet it. Let's try to get a thousand people in here. I mean, uh, uh, this is the best show there is on eleven twenty three. PM on a Sunday night. There is no better show. So everyone who's listening, let's get a whole bunch of people in here. Uh, let's get this up to a thousand retweet. And at this point, Cat, who am I talking to? Believe it or not, we got Resonate the Great, a fellow GG33 Gold member. Resonate, you're up first. What's up, man? Oh, not much, man. Just just listening to Gary go off on everybody. You know the usual. I, I would go off on the clouds. I would have stopped right there. I thought the model that was perfect. What he said, there was no reason to even continue. I was like, well, how, how do you follow that? And then somebody comes How do you add on to that? He's always, he's, he's just always on point with that stuff. He always wants to debate. I wish it, like, I, I would like to No, no, I gotta, I gotta give Rolo credit, man, the rational male. I gotta give him credit because what happens is usually these people say, yo, let's debate. And then they actually, you know, start looking me up seeing that i've been on glenn beck michael savage i'm all over I actually know how to talk you know they think they're uh, gonna be talking to one of these uh fucking fruitcakes who's an astrologer on the left who's woke has blue hair it's gonna tell you mercury retrograde this and that when they actually find out who i am they start running for the fucking woods Rolo still wants to talk. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, he's pretty much the godfather of Red Pill Twitter. 
I'm pretty much going to destroy him. I'll probably convert him um, on the back end. But uh, this is what's going to happen. And I want people to understand something. All these red pill clowns who are talking shit about numerology and astrology within a year. Oh, yeah, there's something to this within two years. Well, you know what? Fuck Gary anyway, man. We always knew new, uh, numerology and astrology was real. That's how it's going to be. I'm telling you that right now. That's how it's going to be. They're like, Gary, you didn't create it. Like, come on, stop. You didn't create number 20. No, you didn't no, no, no. Like, stop. I, 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 I'm, I'm the only one. I'm the first person in world history got men interested in numerology and astrology. If I'm not no mistaken, Ro Rolo, Rolo uh, I, I don't know anything about this. I just read this, but I mean, maybe someone could clarify. I, I believe he came up with the, the whole... Uh, like he was one of the the main people behind the red pill thing. Yeah, Godfather. On Twitter, but he's the Godfather of red God pill. Internet. The whole uh, he, yeah, he's the Godfather of red pill. He's also the guy that Andrew Tate stole his most his content from. Exactly. Uh, about forty percent of it straight came for, straight from Rolo. And here's the thing about Rolo. Um, I, I'm not going to dissect his birthday. I'm going to wait for the podcast for that. But, um. He didn't have the charisma that Tate had to actually put his ideas out there and get it the following. He had the ideas, but he didn't couldn't implement them himself. And there's been a lot of people in world history like that. Uh, Eckhart, I might be mispronouncing his name, but the guy who basically molded Hitler was a guy by the name of Eckhart. He didn't have the charisma himself, but he knew if he taught Hitler, um, who did have the charisma that um, something would come of it. And even when Eckhart was dying himself, uh, he basically said, no worry for I have influenced the rest of Germany through this man. Um, so some people in life, they don't have that charisma. I didn't have charisma when I was born. I basically had to fucking work my ass off, go through talk shows, doing this and that. Thank God I'm, I'm a 33 and I was able to work it with my voice. Um, but a lot of people don't have that ability, nor will they ever. You know, this is not one of those things. Charisma is not one of those things where you go to the weight room and you start bench pressing and eventually you'll get stronger and build muscle. It's more like height. You can't teach height. You either have it or you don't. That's why it's such like, for instance, when I was um, teaching Kat how to do readings, he knew all the information. He knew how to talk. He just didn't know how to give readings. But the but the talent was there in the beginning. It was there. And now look at him now. Fucking killing it. I've had one complaint about this guy for a reading like ever. It is what it is. So, again, if someone has potential, you can actually work with them. Um, Rolo, while he has a very gifted pen, as uh, he's very gifted at writing, he was never um, had the charisma to pull off his ideas on the level that other people did. That's what's so different about me. Um, most people who have my mind would not be able to talk like me or do things like me. And in all honesty, that would probably help <laughs> in some ways because I turned off so many people by running my mouth. But, you know, listen, if I was a different personality, I most likely would have joined the Masons in 2003 when they recruited me instead of saying no. And I'd probably be uh, doing very, very different things. But... You know, I'm one of those guys who money's not my God. If it was, God knows I would have sold out already long fucking time ago. And then you would be like, oh, who's this fucking loser on TV? Because I would have been saying shit that I didn't believe in. But at the end of the day, I'm so fucking proud of the end result. Because as much as I've been kicked, suppressed, I'm still doing very, very well in life extremely well and uh no matter what people think whether they love me or they hate me there is no question i'm the fucking goat of my chosen profession even the people who hate you hate me will tell you that and if they if they don't they will if they don't they're not being honest with themselves that's, that's just yep yeah. You know, it is what it is. Anyways, what's on your mind, Grape? 
I don't know, man. Not much, man. No, just kind of smoking. Was just chilling out. This. I mean, I'm smoking. I'm still entertaining the people, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing a spaces without a blunt. And by the way, I did not sm- cough one fucking time, and I'm fucking smoking on gas. Straight gas. If anyone was smoking with the hell I was smoking, it would be one of those. <laughs> nah, brother. Now, that's why they called me. That's why they called me. My superhero name is Iron Lungs. <laughs> I think I, I think I, I tried to. What you were smoking? Um, what was it? The Gary Payton or something? I do like Gary Payton's. Yeah, I was smoking some of that. That shit's pretty wild, still. So. I, I remember I saw Gary Payton at the Warriors game. I'm like, bro, I got an extra one if you want to go outside. <laughs> does he smoke that? I'm sure he does, brother. They don't name it Gary Payton for nothing. Try it. Hey, like, I, his hey. kid does. I know his kid smokes. I, I can I can rest assured 100% his kid smokes. As a matter of fact, most of the people on the Warriors smoke. At least they did. I haven't been there this year, but uh, the I can assure you that most of the players on the team smoke. As a matter yeah, of fact, I'm gonna, uh, I, I, have, I have smoked with players from the Warriors. I have smoked with players from uh, the Dallas Mavericks. I have smoked from players from the Phoenix Suns. I have smoked weed with players from the Detroit Pistons. And by the end of the year, I'll be I'll be chilling with Miami Heat members. Oh, my. That's why. I, I'll tell you one story. So, I, I'm not going to say what city this is. Okay. Um... I was at a local arena and I was, you know, um, basically chilling with the players. And uh, when I come into town, um, a lot of uh, some GG33 members own a hotel. So, um, you know, whenever I'm town, they they keep the, you know, penthouse for me. So uh, I was like, yo, why don't you come back to my room? at midnight he's like dude i'm sleeping why do you want me to come back i'm like yo come to your hotel at 12 o'clock dude came to his hotel at 12 o'clock and what do you know it's an nba player in his hotel smoking pot and he has season tickets and he, he's always wanted to autograph it there you go brother gotcha <laughs> that's gg33 baby not not mentioning GG33 members got me into the White House. GG33 members have got me into so many things. Um, network with, with billionaires. I mean, the, the billionaires in GG33 are so fucking good with their time and their introductions and who they introduce me to. It, it it's it's really something that humbles me uh the fact that i'm able to talk to some of these people who you know didn't just come from nothing but you know have generational wealth um are a part of the elite um and they will sit down there and talk to me or um when i sit when i go to dinner and there's senators and congressmen there um i'm the center of attention I'm the one who are basically a- answering all the questions. Uh, it- it's it's somewhat humbling. It really is. But at the end of the day, that's what it's supposed to be. I'm a 33. And if you're a 33 out there and you're not influencing the world in some way, <laughs> uh, failed reincarnation. You want me to repeat that? If you're an 11 and you're not out there inspiring people, failed reincarnation if you're a seven and you're a dumbass failed reincarnation if you're a five and a hoe (laughs) failed reincarnation yeah and you wonder why there's so many fucking people on the planet right now because all those fucking souls and all those npcs are nothing but failed reincarnations number of souls always stays the same it's the npcs that fucking grow who's next yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of failed incarnations out there right, up next we got la rosenwig uh, go ahead Ellen hey gary how are you a pleasure to talk to you 
Same with here, my friend. How's, how are you doing I'm today? I'm doing great. So I am actually Hasidic. I learned about you a couple of months ago. I can't get enough of you. I've been telling all my friends about GG33, astrology, numerology. It's just long. And, you found, and you found out about numerology and astrology, and you got really deep into it in 2023, correct? Yes, 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 yes. Yep. And exactly what I told people in the very beginning of the year, what would happen in a seven universal year, people will seek knowledge. When people seek knowledge, they'll look out for the likes of people like me and other people who provide knowledge. So what's on your mind, my yes, friend? So I just wanted to say that I've also had a major success with doing my business with uh, pricing, whatever I do with um, eight, eight. And that's really worked wonders for me. I have two questions. It's amazing how people say that, I do nothing for people and I don't, you know, give people any information. Um, in 2002, I was talking to the top numerologists in the world and I talked to one of them and I was like, Allison, let me ask you a question. You've been doing this for 30, 40 years. How come you're selling your readings for $25 and 50? Why not 35, three and five is eight hurt silence for about 45 seconds. And then I, She's like, I never thought about that. So we're talking about a bitch who's been doing it for 40 years. That's probably why she's been divorced three times. And um, at that point, that was the turning point in my life as a numerologist. So I'm like, the hell with these people. They're all broke. They're all fucking divorced. I want nothing to do with these people. So I basically shunned all of them. And that was one of the things. When people say I give nothing... I, I don't think I ever talked to you before, but you just use my advice on pro pricing products and aids, and look, look at that. All of a sudden, you're making money. Uh, look at the top influencers on Twitter. I mean, Musk bought Twitter for $44 billion. Yes. Uh, Hotep, he's always selling something for 89 bucks. Where do you think he gets that from? Yes. It, 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 it's all the same, guys. Uh, before I started talking about eights, Walmart was not using eight, eight at the end of their price. It was all nine, nine. Now go to Walmart. It's all eight, eight. Yeah. This is what you call influence, but you don't see me with, uh, uh, McLaren or you don't see me with these big podcasts. So you assume other people have more influence than me. No, I'm the main influence because I'm the one who they worried about. I'm the one they shut down over before it got popular to shut down people and make them fucking into martyrs. I was the one who was being shut down and no one fucking heard of me. I had to re, re uh, resurrect myself. Yeah. I mean, I heard about you so. at the time with Andrew Tate. I mean, there was a time where I was listening to his videos and I was like, Hey, you know, it's kind of cool. But then when I just saw what you were saying, everything made sense. I was like, fuck him, you know? So. See, 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 I want people to understand something who are listening when, and when people say rent free, this is what I've done to Tate's audience. Yeah. The people who hear me, some will convert. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be doing that for that mother for the rest of his life until he gets up and he publicly apologizes for saying numerology and astrology is bullshit until he publicly apologizes. Same thing with Joe Rogan. When he publicly apologizes for saying numerology and astrology is bullshit, it, 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 it's over. But it's let's all say, over. Let's say he doesn't do that. Like he, so his thing then is. I'm, then, then I'm I, then I'm on him like white on rice. And yeah, believe yeah, me, no, but listen, listen, listen. I'm already talking to one of Tristan Tate's ex girlfriends, I, who's telling me she uh, she was forced to get an abortion. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm gonna go after these guys. What do you I think just, this interview? What do you think this interview with uh, Joe Rogan's dad is the is the last one? This I'm is the beginning. I can understand. Like he's saying, he's gonna escape the matrix by selling uh, naked pictures of his wife. Like, oh, is that, stop, is that dude, dude, don't 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 try to make sense of. It, isn't, uh, that, isn't that the course though? That's what the course is, right? That he sells, right? I, 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 no, 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 no. Hustlers University is a little different. They're actually teaching people how to do copywriting and. But you he's know, all the course he, that he, did he, that, right? He, no, no. He, he's not teaching anything in there. It's people like Dylan Madden and other people who are actually teaching the courses. He's just the name to sell stuff. Oh, okay. Because I, I, not, I, thought, I thought he was selling courses on selling webcam girls, didn't he? Yeah, that, that? That, was, that was four years ago. He graduated oh, from okay. that. So that, that's not the same thing. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Hustlers University is about um, teaching people how to hustle online. It works for some people, but it's basically all free information. 
that people can find anywhere on the internet. The difference is they present it to you in, in a way that um, is easier for some people to understand, and that's what people are paying for. Yeah, but you know, I thought I thought he was selling webcam shit, bro. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what Tristan sells. Forget. That's what Tristan sells. That that's that's the reason they got caught when they went to Romania because uh, Tristan is still in the pimping business on OnlyFans. He calls himself a the the new modern term is a OnlyFans manager. Uh, basically a modern day fucking pimp and he was making about 200 250 K a month um, so he decided that petty cash compared to what Andrew was given by the Dubai government um, he thought that petty cash was worth going back to Romania and risking arrest and you know Andrew's a fuck it he's not gonna be like well I'm the president and he's the vice president we all can't be in the, in the plane at the same time no we're brothers we have to go together well you get locked up together um, you know he, he's not a very good leader he's a very charismatic individual but he's not a good leader he's a fool for not listening to what you told him so all right well well, 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 well well listen well dude there's people in his group who were telling him the same thing and he didn't listen to them but whatever you said just resonates i'm actually in the academy so i just appreciate everything that you're doing and with the vaccine how long you've been in the academy yes, i told people not to take the vaccine well and it's just the first time i just heard someone and like everything made sense just listening to you is like just awesome so my question was two things number one when it comes to finding a soulmate is it all about avoiding an enemy sign or would you want to find someone that actually is one of your good signs well, of course it's one of your good signs how long have you been in the academy um uh, been about uh two three months all right, and give people your honest opinion oh, of it. I mean, it's awesome. Um, just learning so many new things, like, have just blown my mind. I, I never, just taking so many courses, so many things over the years, um, it's the first time I'm like, wow, this shit makes sense. Like, everything just adds up. Like, I just, you know, taking people's birthdays and, oh, you're this, oh, you're that number. This is your life path. And, like, just... I tell them and I just, you know, I don't know it so well yet, but like just um, reading whatever I read a little bit and I have your screenshots from Twitter, like from all the numbers, they're like, oh, at least smokes, that makes sense. What is that? I'm like, PG 33, check it out. So, you know, that's just been awesome. But I would love to run my birthday by you, a mini one. I did one with Catwise, um, was really, I mean, with Wise Cat, it was really awesome, but I would love to do a mini one with you. Oh, yeah. Well, if you, you, you did a, uh, a reading with yes. Wise Cat? Yeah, I'm not going to go any more in depth than he already Maybe did. Just so. a line? Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not gonna. If if you had a phone reading with Wisecat, there's no way I'm gonna go more in depth publicly on our spaces. Um, he's, he's you know, one of my the top students, man. My, my biggest challenge, that. my biggest challenge, is not releasing too much information. I, I have become a master yeah. at making sure I don't say too much because, you know, there's two type of people. There's dumb people and there's smart people. And smart people, if you leave enough clues, they're going to start figuring shit yeah. out. So I have to make sure that I don't leave enough clues. Yeah. And you know what? A lot of people might have figured out some of the things in the academy and maybe one or two things in bronze. Mm -hmm. But I can assure all these smart people who think they know everything, yeah. you have no clue of what I'm teaching yeah. in GG33 Gold. So, zero even in silver i fucking teach people how to predict death for god's right. sake so i guess my question then would be because my birthday adds up to 33 but i don't know if it's a 33 or if it's actually a six or sometimes 33. what, um, what is the birthday what, what did cat say um um so that's that's the one thing at the time i wasn't so aware of that um all right what's your birthday May second 1988 okay you're a pure 33 oh wow okay your period 33 uh your talent oh, should be in writing writing yeah you should be a very very good uh good storyteller and a good writer people say that wow okay so i guess that's what i have to focus more on uh i don't make mistakes bro. never i just have to say i so appreciate uh, you it's an uh, honor to talk to you congratulations uh, you're gonna be a rich man too oh wow is that like in the near future uh, like I said, I don't, I'm not going to give up time, time right, but I'll congratulations, you. you will be a I'll rich man. I think th I think this guy forgot the reading I gave him, uh, and I have I have proof. I think I remember that particular reading too. I think you forgot some of the things I said. I'll, I'll, I think you forgot. I'll go back to the notes. I'm trying to be vague as possible, brother, because we're talking publicly. But, uh, you know, if 
Cat gave you a reading. I, I I know he fucking went through all this shit. Yeah, he's awesome. He was awesome. Uh, Absolutely. I, I got. So I got. But yeah, uh, Rosenberg, I'm gonna send you a DM. Okay. Uh, and probably after the space, whenever it's a hundred hours from now, because he's go for like a hundred hours and yeah. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> All right, awesome. man. Thank nice talking so much, to you. Uh, Thank you so much. I really appreciate you forever. Thank you. GG yes, sir. forever. Thank you, my friend. If you're listening to this space, retweet it. Let's get a thousand people in here. Cat, who's next? Yeah, let's crack that thousand. We hit almost 800, 900 last time. We were just short. I think we can do it today. I think it could happen. Up next, I don't even know the order. It's been so long. Uh, let's go with, uh, I think Eduardo was up next. Go ahead, Eduardo. Come on, man. We just threw you out of you, my dude. What's going on? Um, not the much is out here. All right, sure. I'm good. It's always, uh, and always fuck the bad, you know? <laughs> uh, well, well, I guess I don't have to ask you if you're vaccinated. No, nah, never that. I was like, something just feel fishy about it. And how, come not, how come nothing felt fishy to people in 2021? Hmm. How come nothing felt fishy to people in early 2022? Now, why did like I I you know, cat? It feels like a dream because I could almost swear I used to do spaces with you about a year ago, and people will come in here and tell us to get. They'll tell us we're selfish. They'll tell us that we're probably going to die. I swear we had those fucking spaces, but yeah, now it's, it's it's like these people don't exist anymore. Where'd they go, cat? Maybe they all dropped. Maybe they all dropped like, it. Uh, doesn't it feel sometimes like the like people are goldfish? They can't remember what happened twenty minutes ago. It's like the government was trying to. Now um, you're it, like, it was some kind of timeline change. Maybe there's a Mandela effect. We don't know. No, we're, we're the only I think ones. people. I think people get rocked to sleep every five minutes by the the new fucking fucking story I think, of the week. I, I'm gonna be honest. I think the people that really remember are only the people that had family members that actually died or that took the. The rest who are just living by themselves. You know what I think? I think the ones who got, vaccinated, um, they forgot they got. They embarrassed. <laughs> they embarrassed to tell people. And that's exactly what it is. They're trying to convince that, to that, 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 That's they exactly are. what it is. They're embarrassed. They got. They're embarrassed. They got suckered because right now I'm going to be like when I talk to people in debates right now Would the you first say thing i ask, well hold on dude the first thing i ask the first thing i ask we're post 2019 are you vaccinated? and if someone says they're vaccinated, all credibility gone why is mr billionaire not emailing me anymore about the i used to get three to five emails a day from mark cuban Telling me I'm an idiot, telling me everyone should be. I get no, I get no emails from this guy anymore. As a matter of fact, he doesn't want to talk about the anymore. It's just amazing how this works. But I'm gonna tell you guys something: arrests are coming, and when a majority of the population starts dropping like flies, the guillotines will be flying, baby. Anyways, anyways, Cat, who's next? All right, up next, we're going to go with Noel. I know Noel just came in here, but he's a member. Noel, what is on your mind, man? The pig no, is here. What's good? What's good? Um, nah. He was say, who's got our bags? <laughs> who's got, where are our bags at, man? Where the bags at? No, nah, I don't know who got GG33 crypto bags, but uh, I hope they're doing well. I hope they're doing well. Um, no, nah, I was I was laughing hard when Gary said, um, how nobody f figured out like the vaccine was um like like a trap, and I'm here thinking like they was giving out motherfucking like coupon cards for free French fries at McDonald's for people who got that shit. Imagine that's what you think your life is worth some fucking fries. I'm like, why are they giving Would out you say all more more shit? red flags in a party or something? Yo, I'm <laughs> like, bro, they never give out this much free shit. Like, why are they giving out all this free shit for this? Like this shit is crazy. Uh, in, in Ohio, uh, you if you seen you, your number was added to a public lottery, and five people won a million bucks. In Washington D.C., they were giving away free joints with every fucking. 
um, in the state of Washington. I believe they were giving away fucking hotel rooms to the homeless if they got. So again, if if they're giving, you have to understand, nothing in this fucking world is free, except what is negative for you. It's free. That shit is all over. It's all free. Why? Because it is destructive on the family unit. It is destructive on the men. They can't build a real relationship with women after that shit. That's why it is free. If they are giving you something for free, watch out. Watch the f*** out. All right. Up next, Yo, so we on. got. Hold uh, on, hold on. Uh, hold on. Okay, there's more. Wait, and wait, there's more. <laughs> Yo, the real thing I wanted to tell you, Gary, right? Is um right. So when nobody believed in you, you know who believed in you, Gary? GG thirty three believed in you because you know we be talking in the forums and we already know we believe in you, Gary. Uh, well, I can say that uh, before GG33, there is only one person who believed in me. Uh, that is my current wife. When everyone said I was full of shit, I was a moron, um, this dying piece fucking, uh, who could have married a millionaire at that point easily, uh, decided that um, I was going to make something of myself. So I appreciate your support, my man. Um, and listen, I know I have a lot of support out there, obviously. But at the same time, um, if I'm going to lift uh, 100 people up, 1,000 people up, I'm going to make sure I balance it out by putting one person in the ground. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. I know exactly what you mean. And come, what, the 2030s? It's time! Uh, it, it, wait, wait, wait. You, you, ever, you ever hear that song? Let the body hit the floor. <laughs> yeah, oh, you know, you know what goes through my head. This is what goes through my head. You know, you guys ever seen the movie The Purge? The, the, the horns, bird, bird. I can't even do it, but you guys know what I mean. If you saw The Purge, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I, 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 I don't. I, I don't think The Purge is a fiction movie. I think The Purge is a documentary about the future. Uh, that 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 shit's gonna happen for real not in the same context as, but uh there are certain um cancers uh in society today that uh you know islam's gonna have fun with i'm telling you that shit's gonna happen islam's gonna cleanse and that that's what islam's purpose is right now see if you're a muslim you might not understand this but your purpose is to cleanse your religion's purpose is to cleanse all the uh, garbage off this planet uh, because you're the only religion who can and once that mission is finished then there's pretty much no need like you know after world war ii there is no need for an army that big because there is no enemy anymore so that's what's going to happen eventually but um yeah the purge is definitely going to happen um there's a lot of people in society right now that need to be fucking purged if we want to be fucking honest i mean in washington in the state of washington by the way where they have a fucking governor um or was it oregon one of those states um they fucking decided that if a child wants conversion therapy and the parent says no that the state has the right to take the kids away if fucking some state agency tried to come to my house and fucking take the kids away Ooh. Exercise your Second Amendment rights. Ooh. I'm going to tell you this way. I'm not going to tell you that I'm going to be fucking victorious and I'm going to fucking do this and that. But I will tell you this. Um, I I'm, I'm putting people. Anyone who thinks they have a right to take my kids away from me, um, that's exactly what's going to happen to them. Um, so how people in, you know, it, 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 it's just such sick fucking behavior. And I fucking told you people in 2020 and 2003, you let these fucking 617s get married, they're going to shoving this shit down your 
in other ways and now they're coming for your fucking kids it wasn't enough for them to just get married and have and close doors now they want to fucking convert your kids because they can't procreate this is what happens and what's what man all i i Cat, we're gonna change the subject yeah, because I don't want to get some funded. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Tokyo shit king. I'm trying to get arrested. I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to get suspended. So I'm gonna okay, keep man. On. All right, damn it. Anyway, uh, maybe, <laughs> it was getting good. <laughs> damn man, Tokyo shit. Anyway, who, who we got next? I think we got a young, young cash. Go ahead, young cash. What do you got? Hey Gary, um, how, how's everybody here tonight? How y'all doing? Hey, are you? I'm not gonna ask that question. I'm not gonna ask. All right, um. So oh, by the way, by the way, three and zero against the NBA line today, everyone. Three and zero when it's playoff times. That's when I step up. And go ahead. And Gary, I've been in your spaces before, right? And you know, you told me. Yeah, I think you guessed one time that if I was, and and you said, and you got it right, right? But one of the questions I have, right? Is there any coming back if you already took? Is I, I I there's a lot of factors. Um, some batches that mean they're sent to different parts of the world were better than others. Um, I don't know if you got. I don't know what batch the you took. I don't know. All I know is, um, you're playing Russian roulette, you know, and you might be you might be one of the ones to you know live a somewhat of a fulfilling life. Um, all I'm going to tell you at this point is uh, be the best version yourself you can be and get even. If you ever see an opportunity to get even with these people who lie to you, do it. Yeah, go all out. Yeah. And that's was, that was my first question. I was like, are you? And I didn't, I didn't ask it, but yeah. <laughs> no, but I got yeah. the... Cause at first I was I was skeptical. I was like, "Hey, like they're gonna give this experimental drug to everybody, and you know, you call regular years and years to develop." I was telling everybody, I was like, "Hey, don't get this shit, because you know, God knows what you're gonna put in your body." I, I, I was telling people not to get it six months before the vaccine went out. The only yeah. person who said it before me was McAfee, and he's and it just <laughs> amazes me how everyone else take takes credit for this shit everyone else takes credit but you know my account which literally saved lives still suspended yeah. it, 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 i think uh 1.2 people 1.2 million accounts got reinstated not one of mine got reinstated and here's the thing i got friends in twitter now Two months ago, my account got suspended. People tried to, uh, you know, tell me, yo, if you ever talk about Andrew Tate again, you'll be suspended permanently. I got my fucking account back myself within uh, 24 hours. Told them to go f themselves. But to get my old accounts back, there has to be some kind of fucking government lock on them. Because for some reason, I can't do that. I've got a fucking account suspended. And I can't fucking get my own accounts back. It's fucking silly. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely it, saved a lot of lives, man. Yeah, and the thing is, like, I, I question a lot of these people that say, I was saying it before Gary, even here on Twitter Spaces. There's people saying, they were saying, how come your account wasn't suspended? How come I was suspended? How come Robert was suspended? How come several other people were suspended, but you guys weren't suspended? So I highly yeah, doubt I remember Rob was talking shit about the too. He got suspended, and he never even had a big account. So they were going after everybody. But all these people that say, oh, we were in Twitter spaces saying that we were, no, you were not. Why weren't you mm -hmm. suspended? Clearly, you didn't matter if you did, if you were saying it. But, you know, that's a different convo in itself. Um, I, 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 had, I had at least six, seven accounts suspended because of the vaccine. Yeah. Yo, all I know, Gary, is I was there. I'm, I'm a witness to all them accounts that got suspended. Yep, yep. Every time, and, and you know, it didn't matter. I still said it, knowing every day I could get. You know, it, it got to the point where you know sometimes when you lose internet service, and it says uh, you know you scroll down and it says uh, we can't receive any tweets at this time. Every time that happened, I thought my account was suspended. <laughs> yeah. It got to that point because every time I refreshed and it did something like that, I'm thinking, oh, they got me again. Are, are we yeah, posting the form like, like, hey, yo, could you look and make sure my account's not suspended? Hey, hey, in the form we post like, hey, yep, is this, yep, is my yep. Still up? That's exactly what it is. I'm in the form, yo, is my account suspended? Check. 
Yo, but you know how I, you, you know how I usually too. you know how I usually knew my account was suspended because it usually happened when I went to sleep and I woke up. I would check in the forums. Oh, they got Gary again. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. The forum. I just go in there, and as soon as my account suspended, people would there start posting. They got Gary again. I'm like, ah, fuck. Then, Time to rebuild. And then for like two, three, two, three days, it becomes a where's Waldo, where's Carmen San Diego situation. Like, oh, we got where's his new account? But we gotta find yeah. it. Where's he at? Yep. I, I I have I'm in Twitter history for having uh, five accounts uh, get to five thousand followers within two to three days. I did that five times. It was always the question of, oh, what's his Twitter name gonna be next? Because some shits was always interesting to me. <laughs> uh, Matrix Prime was probably one of my favorites. Mastermind. Uh, I, honestly, I can't even remember all the accounts. I had one uh, uh, Rome's Pierre account. That one, I fucking just went sick. I just attacked everyone on that account. That, that, that was the one where I think you said probably you, you didn't you didn't let you let every clip go on that one. Every clip was let go on that one. Uh, no, no holding back. Those were the good old days, right? You're about to go on that tangent right now on spaces, and you stopped yourself. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, I, up next, I'm not in the mood. To, I'm not in the mood to get this fifty uh, thousand one uh, k. Then that, that means the next night I'll be back to my uh, what is it? My backup account. What's that at? Thirteen, fourteen k. Yeah, it's 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 nice to have a backup account with that many, but you know, I might need it. We are behind the LED firewall. Yeah, we'll wait for the next uh, 11 day, maybe. Yeah, well, well, M Musk's uh, kid is gender, and she basically went to court to uh, disavow him as a father. I think that, you know, affected Musk's uh, reaction to the LGBT very negatively. So I don't think we have any issues on Twitter. I mean, within his control, but there's all, all other other mechanisms, right? Yeah, and like you know, and, and Young Cash, there's a website you go to. I think uh, I'm just sent. I think Lo just sent me. There's a website where you can go and check a uh, faultyshot.com slash home. You can see what batch number it is and see if you got a placebo or how bad the effects were. Um, so Young Cash, check that out. Thanks, White Scott. Um, yeah, and no I know they have. I have another question. I mean, if I could, if I could ask you, Gary. Mm -hmm. So Gary, I mean, you've been doing a lot of these like uh, dropping knowledge spaces like for a long time, right? Um. Why don't you like give like you know predicting like events that were happen like for example like in the Hispanic community because I I feel like they'll give you a lot more credit than they do here in America. I I I know, brother, but I don't speak Spanish. Yeah, that's those those TikToks are being made. That's the networks right now behind the scenes as far as affiliates. So we're, we're actually I mean, I'm, I'm I'm having people. I mean, I have people. I have people who give uh, numerology readings in Spanish now. I mean, so we are moving. We are moving in that direction. But listen, brother, I I talk English, I talk Russian, and I talk Ebonics. You know, uh, you know. So I I can get down the way and talk to people. Um, I I talk somewhat Ukrainian. I can understand Hebrew to a point. So you know, there you know, uno dos tres. That's about my extent of it. Yeah, because yeah, I've like seen some. I see some academy members and some even some people who are just supporters actually make their own independent Spanish videos and they're really really good. So I'm gonna start sharing some of those. Like these are people who are not even the group that are going hard for this information. So yeah, so, um, so it, it, it will get there. It will get there. I'm 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 the guy who teaches people how to build the flashlight. You guys can right. build the flashlight in different shapes and you know shining on whatever part of the world you want. Um, you know it, it's. And yes, I probably would get a lot more recognition in Spanish, but I'd probably get a lot even more recognition in Mandarin. So yeah. it is what it is. What I've noticed, Gary, that these, you have so many supporters that open up wherever country they live in, like DG33 Africa, DG33 Mexico. They, they're, actually do, they're actually doing it without us even. So I, I, know. I think it's amazing I what know. it's doing. So that's great. So uh, we'll and that, 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 That's the TikTok effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Young Cash, thank you for coming up. We got to move on here. Uh, 24 you, 6, up next, uh, the rooster. A terrible profile picture, by the way, in this year to use. But uh, 24 6, go ahead. Uh, like, yeah. I'd like to thank you for letting me speak. Uh, can I get that website that you sent, Young Cash, for the vaccine? 
Yeah, I'll give it to you right now. Hold on. It's uh, faultyshot.com slash home. And then you can search the batch number, and then you can find out what type of you know batch you were given as far as the effects. Because I think they're logging it on there. So check that out. Damn, thank you. Thank you once again, Cat. Yep. No problem. Do you, uh, you have any questions for Gary? Yeah. Uh, I would just wanted to ask more about roosters and uh, nines. My mom's a nine. Yeah, roosters are trash. Nines are... No, I'm joking. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm just, I was about to be mad. It's, it's a cat thing. Go ahead. Man. Yeah, cats are trash, too, you know? Hey, touche. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you got to expect a cat, uh, cat to throw shade at the fucking rooster. It is what it is. Um, I don't talk about nines. It's that simple. When it comes to roosters this year, lay low, brother. It's not in your nature, but that's what's going to have to happen. If you don't, uh, you'll, you might get in trouble. Lay low this year. That is my advice to you. You lay low like the how low. What do you mean, how low? If you're a gambler and you usually bet a uh, hundred bucks a day, you better start betting for ten. If you're out there and you're basically trading stocks and you have a five thousand dollar or twenty five thousand dollar bankroll, well, you better start trading a lot lower margins, brother. And I, I don't take risks this year. It's that simple. Now, I know I'm not telling you what you want to hear. What do you, I mean, I'm telling you what you need to hear. I'd much rather tell you, yo, go out there and kick ass, but you're not a cat, are you? Shit, Can't do that. Not. And, and I just want to disclaimer. I didn't mean to say all roosters are trash. Aaron Wynn is great, and Tiffany is are, are great. So now, I'm not saying every rooster. I was cracking a joke, by the way, so no one uh, DM me saying that. Why, why, why are you giving uh, Aaron Wynn love when he hates on Michael Jordan, the cat, all the time? I mean, I'm not Michael Jordan, so I don't give a fuck. But he, but that's your people, though. That's a cat just like you. Michael Jordan didn't, didn't send me a billion dollars, a million dollars. He, he doesn't pay my bills. I don't give a fuck about basketball these days as much as I used to. I mean, it is what it is. Aaron Wynn is, I'm closer to Aaron Wynn than I am to Michael Jordan. But uh, mm -hmm. shout out to Michael Jordan, greatest to ever do it. Um, he's my favorite player, but other than that, he hasn't really done. Uh, uh, he doesn't pick me up from the airport when I get to Vegas, so I really don't give a shit as much, you know. <laughs> uh, that's how he just made sure he gets his next flight trip <laughs> when he's in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, he uh, caught that one. See, Gary caught that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good game, brother. Good game. That would have went right over the rooster's head, though. No, Aaron's <laughs> I got I got no problems with Aaron. But um, who's next? I think we have. Uh, I think Jack Lay, you're up next. Go ahead, Jack Lay. Hey, what's up, guys? So I have two really quick questions. So I remember when Gary a few spaces ago, somebody asked him, "What is the significance between uh, somebody just being born normally with uh, just their colored eyes compared to somebody that has uh, different colored eyes?" I'm not sure if that was actually answered already. Nah, it, it definitely wasn't, nor will it be. Wah, wah, wah. No, no, good, good question. That actually means that's a really good question, the fact that I won't answer that publicly. Uh, because by answering that publicly, that would lead people down a road where they'll be able to answer other questions. And again, um, I am somewhat of a gatekeeper. Yeah, Jack Lee has, always asks great questions. So good question, Logan. though, brother. Good question, bro. Yeah, Logan and Jack Lay and the other guy, they ask really good questions. And they try to get you in a... I think Ito asks good questions, too. Like, we try to catch us slipping. doesn't happen. How, how am I going to slip if I'm the one doing the mopping? Anyway, uh, I yeah. think... Uh, well, Logan, Logan's good at selling security systems, and I'm going to help promote his ass tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so my second question is... What precedence does it take when, uh, for example, you're using pricing? Uh, let's just say, uh, so for example, I'm in Canada. If I use $8 Canadian, but the majority of my clients are in the United States, the, and uh, it gets you, 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 you still use uh, what you're using at your base. Don't worry okay. what it converts to. Okay. Okay. So you, even if I have like a very large audience, uh, that doesn't take precedence over mine. No, no. I mean, I'm sorry you live in Canada. I'm sorry you have a fucked up prime minister. It's, uh, it's no. absolutely retarded. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But I, I was, uh, I was actually very interested in your monologue about to go off on the whole transphobic because yeah, it's pretty fucked up here. 
Oh, well, you guys are like completely, I mean, whatever's going on in, you know, America, it's 10 times worse in Canada. Um, you know, like they, a they, $50,000 fine right now for marks. $50,000. Man, fuck I guess in Canada. How about that? Fucking fine for those. This guy will arrest people who are peacefully protesting against the government, against their fucking mandate. He will fucking arrest their ass, but these fucking fouls, he will fucking promote them. That's because they, listen, Justin Trudeau is the fucking child of uh, Hugo uh, not, what am I saying? Uh, Fidel Castro. Yeah. The yeah. former yeah. leader of Cuba. That's because his, that's because his fucking mother uh, was who was fucking flying down to fucking Havana 14 times a year when she was the fucking uh, wife of the Prime Minister Trudeau. The, the, this, this is garbage. This is garbage. And let me tell you, Canadians, something. The reason your government's able to do what they're able to do is because they took away your fucking guns. You want to talk about being fucking neutered as a society? That's what happens when the government takes your fucking guns away. Think of this. Think of all the fucking men out there if they just took away all your testosterone. Same fucking difference if they take away all your guns and your fucking bullets. Same thing in Australia. No matter what they say about at least in America, no one was mandated to do shit. They didn't put a gun to anyone's head to do anything. In other countries, you cannot say the same. And why? Because we got guns, baby, and we got a lot of them. You know, you know why I love even my wife is like, yo, baby, let's get a fucking third and fourth gun because we're in Florida now. In this state, you don't even need a fucking concealed and fucking license to carry guns. I'm fucking loaded on my goddamn scooter, motherfucker. Let's fucking go and resonate. What is the fine for talking shit about Mr. Beast and Mr. Beast's uh, new friend? What is the fine for that? Is that a hundred k, two hundred k? What do you think? Um, what do you mean for like a celebrity? Yeah, because they're both uh, big pillars in the. By the way, so I, don't, I really don't. And, and you, and by the way, how does a loser who's sleeping on his mom's couch five years ago start becoming the biggest fucking YouTube star? And he, he he's not attractive, which is what you would expect. Well, he's, he not fu he's not fucking. He's not funny. He's not funny. He 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 does it making stupid fucking videos. He, he did it because much. no, he did it because of the flag. His symbol, that little fucking tiger, this blue, pink, and white, is the same fucking colors as the their flag. It's always hidden in plain sight with these people. That's why this motherfucker's a billionaire. Think about Catherine, Catherine Jenner. Uh, she, um, who, what was his real name? Bruce Jenner. So Bruce this Jenner. fucking, this this fucking, uh, hit someone in an accident, and he, he was about to go to jail. And someone in the elite came to him and says, if you put on a dress and you start fucking pushing this, we'll take care of this. And that's exactly what happened. Whoever he Bruce Jenner was fucking thrown under the rug, and now he starts wearing a fucking dress. This is a joke. Just keep your kids safe from this garbage. Keep your kids safe. I'm going to tell you something. In my homes, there are no TVs. Zero. Because I do not let my kids watch any rainbow programming. Any of that garbage. I, when I was a little kid, I didn't know anything about fucking And you have fucking kids today talking about their That's That's brainwashing. Brainwashing. And let me tell you something. If your kid is you fucking failed as a fucking father. Flat the fuck out because you didn't protect them from the fucking predators in school. And I'm not talking about fucking I'm talking about leftist activists. All those fucking teachers. I fucking every day I drop my kid off at school. Julius do you trust the government? 
every single day I've been telling this kid since he was four or five years old, never trust a You better be doing the same. You have kids, you better be doing the same. Because what, what's going to happen is if you don't, these people are going to push ideas. And then one day you're going to be at the dinner table. You'll be saying, fuck this. And he's like, you shouldn't say stuff about like, they're going to start arguing with you at your own dinner table. Yeah, you're a bigot. You're not educated. You don't know what you're talking about, Gary. Yep. So. Yep. Never allow that to happen. Never allow that to happen. If you're a fucking man, you're the head of the fucking household. Flat out. You vote for one political party, your wife votes for the same fucking political party. I, I, I can't... I. 2016 2015 i was still in my later stages of a, as a local celebrity in cleveland ohio every fucking day pounding the radio station trump 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 every day 216 217 trump trump i convinced fucking people to divorce their fucking wives because they voted for him that's how much i fucking despise that it, it, I basically told husbands this. If your wife is voting for Clinton and you're voting for Trump, she is canceling out your vote, which means she has no respect for you. I got people I got people to divorce their wives over that shit. And I'm I look at that as a badge of honor. As a matter of fact, these people remarried are doing a lot better. Yeah, that's a worthy worthy grounds of for divorce. One hundred percent. 100%. If, if a woman is a leftist when she's young, it's okay. You can basically still bring her over to the light. If, the, if a leftist in her 40s and 50s, th this is a LGBT, no fucking kids, or, or fucking 420 kids. Yeah. Um, you know, they, you, you, you do not want to f with a woman who's a her fucking late 30s 40s you know there's an astrologer i'm not gonna say her name very very popular around here she was my only liberal friend 10 years ago only liberal friend man it has been such a joy to watch her transformation talking about the talking shit about that and, and here's the point she's still as liberal as she was back then but the pendulum has fucking swung so far in the other direction now people who, who used to be liberals like rogan uh like musk now look like fucking conservatives i want people to understand that there's almost no real conservatives out here zero they all compromise. I went to uh, Patrick Bet David's uh, little fucking show. Uh, I think it was like two weeks ago. You guys saw clips. I took the fucking bitch over when I wanted to. Uh, I gave one of the guys in there a reading, so he, I made sure he gave me a microphone. It was all set up in the beginning. Uh, Pat David didn't know anything about it. Mwah, baby. Even on your own show, I'm able to do anything. But here, here's what I'm trying to tell us, the whole point. He had a guest on, not just Rudy Giuliani. He had this conservative fucking... And he was saying all the right things. Fuck this and that. But I noticed something that no one else did. And you guys can go back and watch the tape. I think his name was Ruben or something. This conservative was a comedian. And every other word out of his mouth was... And he was making people laugh. I get it. But this is a, just a common trend I've noticed with the They always talk about sexual body parts. Always talk about that. It's just a dead giveaway that these root chakra base only have one thing on their fucking minds. Keep your kids away from these people. Yeah, and the thing Keep is, I think it's too much of letting people in that scrape through the cracks. You got to keep them all on one side. Like, oh, he's still a conservative, and he's no. You got to let keep them all on the other moderate. side. They're trying to, moderate. They're trying to get inside. Uh, what is his name? Kate, or Bruce Jenner. Oh, is against, but while being a, what the fuck is that? Like you, 
you're against transgender athletes, but at the same time, you're trying to play both sides. I don't understand that. I mean, actually, I do understand it, but you guys get what I'm saying. You can't give these people an inch. If you give them an inch, you're going to take them out. Look where we're at now. Ten years ago, the stuff we're talking about here, we think it would be crazy. Look at this. But, you know, that's I, I'll say that in my own space. I don't want to, uh, like Gary, I had to cut myself off right now. It's just it's we're, disgusting. We're oh. good, man. We anyway, both have backup um, accounts. All right, who's yeah, next, so brother? Up next, we're going to go with, Jay, uh, I think, Jacob, and then we're going to go with Win Moon after Jacob. So, Jacob and then Win Moon. Go ahead, Jacob. What's up, pimp? Hey, what's going on, sir? How are you doing tonight? I'm doing well, and yourself? I'm doing fantastic. So, I got a question for you. Um, can you tell me about the Emperor Nero and why he was regarded as a monster during his reign, but loved and respected after his death? I don't know about that loved and respected after his death part. Um, well, l listen, uh, this guy ordered the death of many Senate members. This guy ordered the fucking death out of many um, people who were rich so he could fucking just steal their money. Not to mention that when the fucking city was burning, he didn't try to fucking actually stop anything. He was just going back to fucking his, fucking his wine. Um, but I think Caligulus was a worse emperor because he was a definitely... Um, Nero did do some good things when it comes to the Roman army. I think they had a lot of success under his rule, but you can honestly say that was the generals. Um, but I think he's regarded as one of the worst emperors in Roman history. Uh, I will say one thing for him. Um, I, I believe that Rome not only expanded militarily, but also when Rome was rebuilt, it actually turned out to be a good thing, but that didn't actually wasn't his intent. I, th I think he was just a sick person who probably got the kid a lot uh probably tortured his whole fucking family it was a whole bunch of fucking degenerates um but you know here's the thing this is what i know through history this is what i know through history and these are the assumptions i've made and um, a lot of that stuff could be fucking lies i would i wasn't there i wouldn't know I, I know that even if we had a time machine and we bet we went back to rome we'd fucking drop dead because of the smell <laughs> you know so uh no i'm telling you those people didn't fucking bathe uh you know they weren't sanitary you know uh, I, I, we today me and you with our fucking refrigerators and our bathrooms we live better than the fucking kings and queens of those days for sure so but that's an unusual question roman history Yes, sir. I've been I've been led to it. I think you've influenced me a lot. You know, with me just being uh, in study study and uh, study Augustus, uh, how he was first known as Octavius, and he fucking outplayed uh, Mark Anthony, who was Julius Caesar's right hand man. Um, study Cleopatra; she has a major role in history, and um, I would also study Tiberius. Uh, Tiberius was not a very well liked leader. He was a again a, a, a sexual deviant, um, but he was so concerned with being you know poisoned or being killed, he never left the air. Mm -hmm. And because he never left the air, he had to go to Caligulus, uh, a, a person who he murdered his whole fucking family. And then he had to go to this guy to fucking took him to that fucking island he was uh, staying off a uh, hundred miles off Rome and basically told him, OK, you're going to be emperor. Uh, then he brought some other kid in and said, OK, you guys are going to compete for emperors. And then one day Caligulus uh, killed the kid and then kills him and says, I'm the new emperor. And then all of a sudden people think, oh, they were saved. Tiberius is dead. The tyrant's dead. Uh, they, he took away the treason trials, uh, which was basically a money grab. And uh, everyone's happy about Caligulus. And then they find out this guy's a fucking worse than Nero. Uh, just to tell you the type of person Caligulus was. He would walk through the streets of Rome with uh, his uh, Praetorian guard. And if he saw a woman he found attractive, um, they would kill and who was with her on the spot, drag her to the palace, and he'd fuck. 
this is the type. This is the type of uh, individual he was. Uh, the only uh, other uh, modern day equivalent that I've seen was Saddam, Hus- Saddam Hussein's sons, Ude and Kuse. Uh, these motherfuckers would do pretty much the same thing. If they would walk around, and they see a woman they liked, and if she was with their family, they kill the whole family just to. Broad. So um, these are barbarians. Some people who should never be in positions of power. Um, you know, if you don't, if you don't have a conscience, you shouldn't be in a position of power. But um, that's not the way history is written. I mean, we had a madman like Stalin, who was in a position of power, killed about fifty million people. We had sick fucking people uh, like uh, Chairman Mao in China. His great leap forward, his basically starved fifty million people to death. Uh, what about the fucking Holocaust in Ukraine that was uh, committed by Stalin? Way worse than what's going now. And, uh, so there's a lot of stuff in history people just don't know about, but they sure as hell will t- tell you everything about, you know, a- any fucking pop star. Or they'll fucking, you know, throw bars on any rap song. And they'll know that fucking perfectly. They'll tell you exactly what John Jones had for breakfast. They'll tell you exactly who fucking Tom Brady beat in college. They'll tell you all that stuff, but they are not interested in to know anything about the new world order or anything of that, about that nature. So, um, a lot of it has to be uh, blamed on the fucking parents. Uh, a lot of it is basically people are lazy. And um, when you don't do the research, everything feels like propaganda. You know, if you don't do the research, you're probably thinking numerology and astrology is bullshit. Um, yes, but if you actually look into it, uh, you start seeing different things with different eyes. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Who's next, Scott? Up next, we got Wen Moon. Wen Moon, go ahead. Hey, Gary, it's good to speak to you again. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. And yourself? I'm great. Uh, your monologues, I always walk away with something, and, and today was no different. So, um, Gary, in uh, 2019, that. yeah, in 2019, I had a reading from you, and um, I want to uh, update you on that because it's been a few years. Um, so you had picked up on a business deal I just walked away from and you told me that I used my intuition and to keep on using my intuition and that over time I was going to have several several proofs that would tell me whether I made the right decision or not. And uh, I can't begin to tell you how correct you were, sir. And I live in a small island. I'm in uh, Phuket, Thailand. And, um, you know, there's, there's only a couple hundred thousand people here, so everyone kind of knows everyone. And uh, sure as shit, just not even looking to find out whether I made the right deal or not. Like those, the people that I got the heebie-jeebies from, yeah, they were they were into timeshares and uh, yeah, they were they were bad they were bad dudes. And the gentleman who he has a product, which by the way, I'm now working with him because he finally realized that those guys were bad dudes. Um, you know, so that's the way you know things work out. But. Uh, f- flash forward to 2021 and using that knowledge that you had imparted on me, which is to always go with my gut. Um, I got introduced to a gentleman who, uh, you know, worked at IBM, worked on Watson, charismatic, successful, uh, more or less my age. Um, and he's building the next generation blockchain that, listen, maybe in a year or two, everyone on this phone call is going to know about them. Um, and I had several deals in front of them and, you know, he wants to decentralize my prosperity and, you know, just, just talk in the game, man, you know, and he was sucking me in. So I had several deals in front of him and, um, you know, I was feeling good. You know, his wife was a producer in Hollywood and just, you know, all this great stuff was, was happening with the company. And, uh, he furnishes me. So I go to execute one of the deals and he winds up furnishing me with a contract that uh, was littered with deceptive practices. And, um, you know, I have a friend of mine who has a series three and a series seven. He goes, this constitutes as something I should report as, as a p- potential financial crime uh, or p- financial fraud. I had my, uh, a friend of mine, uh, a lawyer friend of mine, who, uh, you know, I gave him some excerpts of it. And he goes, if I was allow you to sign this and they, let's say, executed on one of these clauses that they have in here, uh, you could sue me. I mean, that's how bad this contract was. So I wind up telling him I'm not signing the contract and he wants to have a 
conference call with me and uh i wind up redlining for him i didn't want to do it because i was going to tear him a new asshole and i did and um when he enabled his video he wasn't looking at me he was looking at the window and i could tell by his body language which was giving me that intuition that this guy was not who he said he was he, he was always praising god and you know i'm here to yeah, 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 yeah. That, that that that's that's a if someone <laughs> starts praising god over and over that's a that's yeah. a, like a deflecting mechanism um the you know again if it's a pope or it's an imam you know that's something you expect uh but if it's just a regular person or you know someone who always says oh you know i, I never lie you know and they keep you know repeating telling you that over and over uh and they're overcompensating is because they're a dead fucking liar you always got to watch out yep. for people like that. But uh, listen, my friend, uh, don't put your birthday out there because I don't want people to reverse engineer, uh, you know, what we were saying so they can figure out, you know, no, how no, no, I no, knew no. that. No, so, I, I already um, had my reading from you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so uh, again, then, it was three, it was, it was three, four years ago and it was pretty accurate, correct? Uh, but bang on, man. Uh, and, and one other thing, your, your boy Bobo got taken down by uh, the CTO of Ripple. He's freaking out pretty good, man. I haven't seen you comment on it. I was a little surprised. <laughs> um, they, you know, listen, uh, Bubba is um, a midget who is <laughs> looking to uh, basically, uh, you know, validate himself to his father who basically looks at him as the runt in the family, but he's still blood. Um, you know, Bubble was born into money, um, but he has no respect. He never had a relationship with a woman he didn't pay for as a... Uh, he's a very, very pathetic man. And he found himself a niche. He was able to fool a whole bunch of gullible people into thinking that he's some kind of riddler and he actually knew what the hell he was talking about. This guy's a low fucking Mason, low degree fucking Freemason who fucking yeah. used a couple fucking secrets he knew to try to fucking uh, build a following. His mistake, uh, just like a whole bunch of others, was to start attacking me. Um, he happened to be talking to a girl in the group and she wouldn't get with him and he thought well hell if i can take down your teacher um i might you know win her over and then uh he found out he fucked with the wrong person and i just keep going at him and at him and at him um bubba's the type of person that uh one day he's gonna be walking the streets and people who uh, listen to him and got hammered um they're probably gonna pull out uh, on the car and just fucking put him in the trunk uh you know he he's he's making a lot of enemies out there i mean a lot of enemies um even the people in the xrp community don't even like the guy anymore um I'll, oh, I'll, 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 I, I, I changed my handle because of him, and I kept on asking him when Moon on every post that he finally blocked me. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I own XRP, Gary. Uh, I mean, I do think it's going to get all time eyes. I've spoken with people who have worked there, and you are on to something with what you're saying. So, uh, but, you know, it's in my bag. Yeah. You know. But yeah, he's, I mean, to say you're going to wake up and it's going to be $1,000 tomorrow back in 2019, I mean, come on. Yeah, I don't understand how you can say the same thing over and over for five years and XRP a thousand, XRP a thousand. It's going to happen today. It's going to happen tomorrow. And, and no ridiculous. one calls him out on it. And he just gains, like, he has like 50,000 followers. It's like, what? No, that's all changed fuck? now. That's changed now, big time. These guys want to add them hard, and then cats. Uh, uh, Let me Schwartz, see. Whatever they were. Where's this clown at? Because you know this, th that would just be another example of a guy who fuck with GG33, and you know ended up having a lot. You didn't of see the. You didn't see the the. Uh, the oh, he's at fifty five. Like he's he's, he's he has he's at fifty five thousand. He's fucking has more than me. It's fucking <laughs> disgusting. The CTO of Ripple publicly called him out, and then he he was like, "Oh, I kicked you out of my Discord," and it just got yeah. But that, that's gonna get, that, but shit like that's gonna get him nothing but more followers because the people who think that guy's a fraud are gonna run to this guy and be like, "Oh, he must have the secret sauce." So he's getting called out like that. That does nothing but build clout. There's a lot of dumb people out here, man. You, you, you have to understand. 
I specifically don't call out some people so they don't get followers. I even fucking run up my students. Like sometimes someone says something dumb and my students will start attacking them. I have to fucking DM them sometimes and be like, yo, delete that. Don't fucking give this guy any attention. I don't want to build his account at all. Because the, th the fact of the matter is... <clears throat> When someone has no followers and you attack them, you're going to build this account. No matter who you are, no matter what you do, you're going to build this account. If he has a lot of followers, it's okay to attack him because you'll probably take more away from him than you actually give him. There's rules, to, uh, written rules to this game in Twitter. Um, I don't really go after people with low accounts because they have no influence. What's the point? You know, you got to think of Twitter. And this might be a real, real bad example in the year of the cat, but I'm just going to go with it. Um, you know, when I was in Russia, uh, I, I have a couple of city houses in the cities, but um, I have one, you know, in the farmland. And, you know, one of those places where you wake up at night in the morning and the roosters are waking you up. It's cock a doodle doo every single and everyone has a rooster like every fucking house has their own rooster so every fucking night these motherfuckers go and start cock -a -goo, and you know eventually you're like what the fuck are these dudes doing why are they doing this all the time so here's the thing all the roosters are trying to put the other hens the other roosters have on their team so they're basically screaming out yo come on my team so that's basically what Twitter is to a point. Um, we're all kind of like roosters. We're all going cock a doo fucking follow me. Uh, t and you're basically trying to take someone off someone else's team and onto your team. Now, the difference uh, of why other people do it, you know, some people do it for clout. Some people do it for money. Some people just do it for personal satisfaction. Um, with me, with GG33, at least you get something out of it. And what I mean by getting something out of it is very simple. You actually learn how to decode the matrix. Everyone else, you're basically wearing knee pads for them. Um, I mean, listen, if you need uh, other people to tell you that the Rothschilds run the world, I'm, I'm sorry, that is not life-changing information. If you have people lying to you and telling you the Rothschilds are in the matrix because they run the government and that's the matrix, they're lying to you. The matrix is the energy, the afterlife, the third, fourth, fifth density. That's what the matrix is. It's not the government or whoever is in control of the government. All right. Some people, some people can't see the fucking trees from the forest. You know what I mean? Yep. Bro, who are you talking to? Can you hear me? I don't hear who you're talking to at all. Yeah, you might have to come out and come back in because. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, it's here. Hello. Yeah, yeah, you Noel, know, well, you're gonna have to come out and come back in. Yeah, Noel, well, just come out and come back in. All right, up All right, next. Who's, who's next? Up next, we're gonna go with Brian. All right, I'll be back. Brian, right, be back. go ahead. Hey, so uh, I was. Uh, how, how you doing, Gary? Actually. <laughs> Oh wait, Brian thought I said Brian thought I said Brian. I said Bryant. Oh my oh, bad. Sorry. Oh, my fault, guys. Um, so yeah, Bryant, you go first. So Kobe Bryant, uh, first name. So your name is basically like Kobe Bryant. Then Brian, you go right afterwards. Sorry about that, Brian. All right, you're fine. I just have a quick question about like the day I was born. I was born on twelve thirty one ninety nine. And if you guys could give me a quick reading, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, very simple. You're about that bag. <laughs> you're a Capricorn eight. You're about that bag. Oh yeah, and, man. You know that that that's what it comes down to. You wake up in the morning, you go to sleep thinking about how to make money. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what a Capricorn eight would do. So uh, uh, again, um, this is a good year for you, man. Just make sure whatever seeds you plant will be prosperous in the future. All right. Is there anything I probably shouldn't do this year, or? Yeah, I mean, listen. I always tell people, <laughs> don't give it and don't fuck with hoes. Yeah, definitely. Well, all right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. Up no, next no, week. All, 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 all you motherfuckers out there, man, don't need to chase women. I'm telling you, you do not need to chase women. 
Okay, all these red pill fucks who tell you to fucking uh, get rich and then get a fucking broad. Wrong. Wrong. You want to find a woman when you're broke. And the reason you want to do that is so you can grow together in bonds. When you struggle together and you grow together in bonds. You don't want to be the fucking man who fucking lived in, uh, you know, under a fucking bridge and 60 hours a week and lived in your car and, and worked your ass off and fucking made it. And then you fucking meet the woman in your dreams and all she's interested in is your bank account. Don't be a simp. Yeah, but I'm sure some people, but Gary, how do we do that? How, I, you have game, Gary. Teach us how to do it. That's what I'm gonna say. Where's that course coming out? I'd buy that before I joined the academy. I, 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 I can't tell. I can't teach people how to, you know, turn a girl into a woman. So yeah. you got you can do that with yourself, <laughs> guys. You said it best. You said it best, Gary. Some things cannot be taught. Some of these guys are trying to copy and paste their favorite red pill guru, and it's not working. And they can't figure out why. I, I, you, know, you know, listen, I, 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 I talked to someone who was in Red Pill today, and I'm like, yo, dude, you know, just because you could pull these hoes doesn't mean you could teach other people how to do that. That's not how this works, bro. You know, um, I, I can teach anyone numerology because I dumped it down to the level where anyone could get it. Um, you, you cannot teach people how to fucking be funny. You can't teach people how to say the right thing or how to fucking do alley hoops and how to have a wingman. You can't teach those things. You either have that shit or you don't. <laughs> Ugh, I love Akbar. What else can you say? <laughs> <laughs>